Your Majesty. Service. His Majesty, the King of Albion. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The King's decision is final. A military outpost shall be erected in the deserts that surround Aurora. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Ah, you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so beloved. Very well, it shall be done. Reva Industries is proud to present an exotic tale of romance, adventure, and sand. The Desert Outpost. Bring forth Sabine of the Miss Peak Dwellers. Today, you decide on the fate of Mispeak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home. I will keep my promise to the Dwellers. The Mispeak Mountains will be restored. Miss Peak shall become a protected region, and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you till the end. The forests of Mist Peak are our greatest national treasure, and now, thanks to Reva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? Happy anniversary, Your Majesty. One year as King of Albion. Doesn't time just fly? To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see, you will also... The day has come, King. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature, and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do.
Welcome to the Sanctuary. I hope everything is in order. about to impale someone with magically conjured swords. Surely I'm not the first person ever to tell you that. Well, if you prefer it that way, who am I to judge whether a change of apparel is significantly detrimental to one's appearance? It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. Reports indicate that our defenses were able to hold off the worst of the first attack. But if we don't act quickly, even the armies we prepared for this day will not be enough. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion.
the most amazing... We drink no, the sounds you give us. The no, cries no, of no, your no, young. Bloody Freshly written. We give thanks for your desperation.